Star Wars Battlefront. We're on Xbox Series X taking a look at this classic entry in the series, the very first game. Now I do prefer the second one just due to the style of it, the maps and the improvements, but this one definitely does stand on its own as a unique game due to the fact that it's got different maps and a different visual style to it. And it's just kind of amazing again to be back and playing this one because it is kind of quite unique to its sequel. It very much is a different sort of game while still carrying a decent selection of modes. Now the map selection I don't think is as varied but there's a great selection of levels that you can kind of battle with in here. So it does have a bit of a campaign, it's like a historical battles kind of thing. It's not necessarily the most cohesive narrative, it's kind of just jumping into different situations and scenarios. Which, you know, is kind of cool if you want to do that. It's not nothing wild, but it's okay. It's worth, like, rolling through if you're, you know, blasting across the game and wanting to look for something. So there's also Galactic Conquest, where you're kind of battling for planets and everything across the galaxy, a back and forth kind of thing. Wow, I actually just got absolutely blasted there by the scout trooper nice job <laughs> and then there's also the multiplayer that's really you know not quite the same and you got different split screen options obviously the multiplayer is not quite the same you know online functionality isn't really a thing nowadays which is disappointing but it is what it is but even aside from that you know playing instant action is what i love to do in both of these battlefront games you just set up a selection of maps battle against the ai it's quite a lot of fun. I don't know, it's, it's kind of like a great selection of combative modes. It, it plays really, really well. It still looks fantastic. I mean, I think the character models and stuff particularly hold up just perfectly well. As do the maps. Wow, I, I, like, I got like Stormtrooper aim there and it was shooting in a widespread around them. But like, just look at the, the conflict going on here. The different characters kind of, you know, running around and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy, I guess you could say. Did I just throw a grenade at my feet? Uh, and I, I don't know. I think it still sort of holds up. I mean, obviously, it, it does look uh, a little bit aged, but still, it looks like how you think of the game, you know, using your nostalgia, thinking back, like how you remember playing it. It, it looks like that, which I think is amazing. And it's just... You know, it loads really quick too. I think it, it still kind of goes through its sequence thing where it kind of shows the scan up to the planet, but I think it has to. And then after that, you just like jump right into a match instantly. It's so fast, it's kind of crazy. Oh, I didn't mean to pick the rocket guy again. Definitely did not want that. And I think I shouldn't have jumped down there, but whatever. But it's just kind of like amazing seeing all of the different players. I guess we're in a bit of a fairly confined uh, experience and atmosphere here. So it makes sense why there's so many players kind of battling it out. But it's also got like a neat selection of maps too, right? So you're getting things that are like some are more focused on infantry play, whereas others are more larger in scale and about playing with uh, using vehicles and stuff into the mix, which is kind of cool. I just did a complete circle into this chamber again, but just kind of showing off some of the different like visual styles of this one. It looks really, really cool. I mean like the lights and everything like that it's kind of crazy to see in action like this is really quite why i wanted to show this one hey i love the battlefront games i love battlefront 2 a little bit more would have loved to see a battlefront 3 you know i've seen the leaked stuff from that one i thought it looked amazing but it is what it is hopefully someday i'll be able to actually play it <laughs> that aside this one it, it's neat right like it's got a cool look to it it's got a neat style to it and it does feel similar enough from its sequel that it's something where you could go back and actually have a good time playing it experiencing the combat and stuff like that just perhaps even like myself spending hours you know playing the different levels and stuff i, I think it's still such a absolute treat to enjoy it is just absolutely wild coming in here and competing against all the AI and stuff. And I mean, it's, it's more fun with friends, at, at least, you know, from a nostalgic point. I, I do, while I did play by myself, it, it was a lot of fun to be able to play with friends. I actually do think I played this one on specifically Xbox back in the day, too, with friends, usually. Just, it's kind of nuts and just like seeing 
everything kind of looks so sharp and stuff it's absolutely wild but i think with that we're going to switch over to the next level we should have maybe changed the <laughs> the respawn unit count uh, a little bit if we can i can't remember if we can on this one or not but just to make it like run a little bit faster for more variety on the maps right even though this combat is pretty epic so this is the loading here i wanted to show this off so we're going to go into the dune c so like battlefront 2 was instant but i think this one is too but they forced you to do these because they thought that the game you know would always have a loading it was never intended to be that quick right so they would do that to mask the loading a little bit but as soon as you get started you know it just instantly runs right like you're right into the action there's no delay which is kind of crazy you even get on this thing oh this is gonna be it's gonna be dangerous oh they got the skiff on here too i totally forgot about that i think i want to look here there's like the oh yeah the crawler the sand crawler so cool i think there's also like yeah the tuscan raiders are going around <laughs> is kind of wild to be able to like experience this and then they've got like that this weird i think like a blur effect on it just because to get the vehicles riding so it looks a little bit odd oh yeah there's even the the, <laughs> the x-wings on this one kind of crazy i was just mowing them down oh actually got shot down there and then there's the different eras too that are present it's just it's a neat game like really like even the ui has got like a bit of a a fancy style to it Obviously, the second one, I think, really refining things, but it's worth looking at if you've never played it before. And it might even be worth looking at, you know, if you're wanting to play something a little bit different and you've played other Battlefronts and you just want something uh, a little more wild and unique. I definitely think a lot of the stuff in this one is just kind of crazy and cool. I mean, even the, like, the maps are a little bit more unique in the sense that they were sort of going wild with the designs. Ooh, I kind of want to fly the uh, <laughs> the TIE Fighter. Uh, ooh, my bad teammates, my bad. But it's just, Star Wars matters a lot to a lot of people. And, and the Battlefront games, I think, nostalgia-wise, also do. You know, because there's a lot of people that usually check it out when I, I showcase the Battlefront games, which is why it's, it's such a treat to have an excuse to, you know, kind of go in here and, and play them. And I really should do, like, a campaign video or something at some point of both the Battlefront games, this one too, historical campaigns. I don't think it would be too long to do. But just having the Series X be available and making a game that I love like this, something that's, you know, a good excuse to go and play it because it still looks so good is just, it, it's a real treat, you know? It, it really truly is quite a treat. I should mention, you know, there's there's different classes. I usually just play as a standard class because I don't get like too into the different things in this one. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. Okay. Uh, nope, get up, TIE Fighter. Can we not fly high in this one? Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry, I have not piloted on this one in a long time. I guess we got inverted here. It's just a little bit weird, though, because it's like a smaller scale sort of sequence where you'd be flying in, if you know what I mean. Like, this just feels really good here. The fluidity is kind of... In insane actually I don't remember it being this smooth or nice at all back in the day so it's just crazy to finally maybe even better than the vision that the develops, developers themselves saw back in the day or even considered being possible for these games like they would have never never ever imagined them looking and presenting quite like this I mean they did have like the widescreen and stuff but I mean, the visual quality in that and the fact that it holds up so well is amazing. Oh, yeah, they got the Sarlacc Pit. Of course they do. I mean, you can't do this map, have Tuscan Raiders, and not have the Sarlacc Pit, am I right? Oh, did you see that? He just got absolutely munched by that. Oh, wow. You know, these Tuscan, Tuscan Raiders are kind of lucky and against Skywalkers not around here. Oh, wow. It's just going to town on the Tuscans. Oh, wow. That's kind of crazy, but we should switch up to another map, though. Again, showing the loading here, because it's kind of fun to do. I like their little zoom-ins and stuff. Like, it's a good way to hide that they're kind of loading stuff. And then it just runs. Isn't that nuts? Like, it just goes instantly. You're just, like, right into the action. And we got the Clone Wars here, too. Ooh, yeah. You know, I can't fix everything, these boosts. Like, the, the backdrops there. You could definitely tell that... Uh, it's like a old low res picture but that's kind of really awesome because that's super high resolution just kind of gracefully floating across the sky hmm it's wild oh yeah okay 
yeah, it's so weird. Like, you can see that they were playing with the idea of having, you know, kind of space maybe down the road. And this map's nothing too wild because it's kind of like a empty field with... Like, I mean, back in the day, this was probably, like, absolutely nuts, right? It's like, oh, wow, you feel like you're in this whole place, like, the, the running water in the background. I find absolutely hilarious. But, uh, yeah, it's just always such a treat. I keep saying that, like, multiple times, but I really do find this to be such a pleasure to have an excuse to take time out of my usually pretty busy day when I'm doing stuff and working to go here and play something uh, I love to play, play the different types of games that are available too. And I mean, it's, it's a very different type of game too, because it's not really like a sequel, it's, it's really quite different. You know, it's got some neat different mechanics to it, which are kind of fun. Should we try the, uh, the Jet Trooper? Oh yeah! We've lost the command post. This is kind of like a terrible map if you think about it. Like, it's just this little chain, like, it's just a grass area with some stuff thrown into the ground. <laughs> but it's still kind of fun. Ooh, the rocket's a little bit hard to, to use when you don't have, like, a bit of a, you know, like, an aerial advantage, right? I'm kind of worried about blasting myself. But, like, the, the character models, they look so great. You got all the different kinds of missions and stuff you could play, all the different characters you could play as. It feels very level too in regards to like the I guess you could say fairness and the competitive style of play they actually you know the AI will get you a few times that's for sure you still feel like you're having a good time as well look at the trees in the background it kind of wants to be a little bit of an intense forest area but it's not necessarily uh, perfectly hitting that mark upon reflection which I think is kind of humorous to its own degree it definitely adds a little bit of uh, a weird charm I guess you could say. I, I don't know how else to describe it. It's it's kind of fun that it's got this older style to it. It just really makes it feel that much more special as I run through it. Okay, I'm just blast a few more, and I think we need to switch to another map because this one isn't necessarily the most exciting in showcasing of what this does, but it does again show off a little bit more of what the game has to offer. Going down to Hoth, the ice planet. And if you watched the uh, the Battlefront 2 showcase, you know, that one's got the uh, crazy wampas in it. Should we be the... We're usually the rebels, I think, in this one. And this is just such a cool thing. I think this kind of really stands out as being quite memorable for me, because not only do you have, like, the Falcon behind you, but you've also got the whole thing where it's, like, a battle between the Adats and, like, the Snow Speeders, which is super cool. And I think the backdrop even holds up a little bit better on this one. And I know they kind of refine this in the sequel, but it's still super cool here. Yeah, there's a lot of AI players. I think it's just because they're not maybe like as spaced out and stuff to the map sizes, but it just all plays so well. It's so cool. I mean, look at this crazy action. Uh-oh. I didn't even blow up the, uh, the atst. Atst. I think that's how you say it. A-T-S-T. Atst. You got this, like, chilly thing. I like how even the, the Wookiees have a bit of a chill with them, which is kind of fun. Ah, uh, yes, the beautiful backdrops. I remember this just being, like, the most realistic and crazy thing I'd ever seen at the time. Well, maybe not, but it's... <laughs> it looked funny. It's just such a, a memorable thing. And I know a lot of people would just sort of almost overlook this one due to its sequel. You know, like, they're older games, and you're probably, even if you are taking a look at the second one, you're not necessarily going to think of the original entry, but you should, because it's really good. <laughs> and it's got its own selection of, of content to it. It's its own unique maps, its own unique missions, its own different structures and setups. And I, I hope that maybe more people will think about taking a look at this one and seeing what it has to offer as being something that is unique. It's kind of wild, and it just holds up so well. They both do, this one and the second one. Look at the eight and <laughs> the ad ad over there, it's kinda crazy. Wow. Yeah, there's just I don't know how to describe it, but there's something amazing about the Battlefront series. It's so fun, like the wealth of characters you can battle with, the different places and the planets you can go, the different types of war going on. Because there's all these AI and you really feel like you're just another trooper. You you can make a big mark in the map by 
you know, blasting through so many troops, but there's so many other AI that are just kind of, like, fighting themselves. You feel like you're just a small addition to the overall conflict that's going on here. I mean, like, look at all these character troops going around doing their own thing. I'm not necessarily even their focus of attention. It's... it's nuts. <laughs> It really is. There's just something crazy about this one that's so cool. Again, even though I like the second one better, I just want to keep saying that so you don't think I'm totally head over heels with this particular one. It, it's good. There's just the second one just like really blows it up content-wise a little bit more. This would be a, a Wookiee here. That'd, that'd be fun. See, the Wookiee's got the bowcaster, which is kind of cool. I, again, I love the little snow touch on the fur. I think that's kind of a, a fun little thing to do. They got like different weapons types and different styles. Like this must have actually been like quite a lot of an effort to get all these distinct feeling, you know, kind of characters that are authentic to the Star Wars brand. It, it's kind of a, a little bit wild, and to have people still appreciate it all these years later must be quite the thing. You know, I, I do wonder what folks that uh, you know jumped in on this back in the day and are seeing it now really do feel about you know, the visual boosts that this game has received, because I think they're absolutely wonderful. And I think we should switch to another map here. Thought we'd get a, a little red and far in. I feel like we were missing out on this one. Although the one of the vehicles is a little bit more intense, but I, I think I want to keep it a, a little focused action-wise. Uh, you know, we really we haven't played as the CIS yet. Let's, let's give them a chance. Even though I, I just like playing as, like, the clones and the Star Troopers and stuff, but the droids are kind of fun too, right? They're definitely an interesting part of the Star Wars universe, something a little unique. In this area up in the clouds, battling for this ancient fortress area. Kind of intense, am I right? And even like the architecture of the, the buildings and stuff hold up so well. I think it's just like amazing, particularly that certain things like the character models and stuff look so intensely sharp. It's, it's kind of wild as you get the, the jump in there from the uh, companion, the Siri, but I <laughs> don't know if that picked up. It was kind of funny, but we were just running in here, seeing the CIS blasting away. And it's also like a very serious type of game, too, which I kind of like. The fact that, you know, they're not too jokey with it. Like, it's actually like a straightforward conflict of battling between the different factions. Uh, some of the dialogue and stuff, you know, you get a little bit of a laugh in, but as a Star Wars fan, I think it's just such a, a neatly accurate, like, portrayal of the particular, like, different conflicts and stuff that you might not necessarily even see film-wise, which is kind of cool, you know, not even on a cinematic level. Uh, it's just neat how these games can kind of expand the universe in an interesting way, uh, you know, and I, I think that's why these are just so enticing and so fun to play, and interesting discoveries you go around blasting the various troops that get in your way and taking over the different bases and stuff it's just it's fun it, it really is a good time and if you've never played them before you are certainly missing out like i've been trying to say the whole time i hope that's really getting across that you know you can spend countless hours playing something that is even this old and still have a grand time with it and be uh, surprised, you know? A little surprised the whole way through. So good luck out there, Super Trooper. And battle it out across the battlefront, across the different locations that you want to witness, across the uh, the different types of troops that you can play as, on the different planets and the different experiences, because it just... tons of replayability. That's, that's really what it is. You just play this for hours and hours, over and over again, multiple different ways, and I don't necessarily think that you would get bored of it, because it's Battlefront. 